a blessed beautiful day grateful gal family welcome into the grateful gal sports huddle y'all know what time it is about to get directly to the daily verse before i get into the sports huddle rundown daily verse for the day of december 9th 2023 derives from the book of james chapter 1 verse 17 and the state says follows whatever is good and perfect is a gift coming down to us from god our father who created all the lights in the heavens he never changes or casts a shifting shadow. Amen. And again, it's from the book of James, chapter 1, verse 17. <sighs> Thank you, Almighty Jehovah, for today. Thank you for life, man. Thank you for sending your son, Jesus Christ, down to this earth to live the most righteous way as possible, to be able to be the example of how we should follow his steps, how we should allow him to lead our life. And allow him to lead us towards you, Father God. We love you and we thank you. I just thank you again, just truly. You know, infinite thanks. Thank you for everything you do. You know, you know you know what that is. Thank you for my life today. Thank you for the person on the other end of this this message. Thank you for their life. Thank you for my wife life. Thank you for my children's lives. My daughters Leah, Zuri, and Skylar. Thank you for my mother's life, Zakia. Thank you for my brother's life. Isaiah, Omari, Marcus, Jaquez, Javaris, Jaquarez, Melvin, my brother Donald, Denise, all my friends. Thank you for my sister's lives. Kiwana, DIJ, all my family, friends, loved ones. Thank you for my grandmother, Kaina. Thank you for my grandmother, Portia. Thank you for my grandpa, Aaron, lives today. All the people you blessed us with our life today. All my nieces and nephews. All my brother-in-law, sister-in-laws, love all y'all. My cousins, aunts, uncles. Thank you for all my family life today, Father God. Today is today. A lot of people didn't wake up today, Father God, but you chose to wake wake those individuals who have life today. You chose to wake us up, and I just appreciate you. Appreciate you. Continue to allow us to spread love in the world, Lord. We need more and more love in this world, and I know it's way way more good than bad in this world. And Satan tries to publicize and and televised bad 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 but i know it's a lot of greatness and goodness in this world because you are the creator of it jehovah we thank you for it we thank you you sent your son jesus to die for our sins and with that sacrifice that trumped any evilness that ever was ever was consumed or ever was created you are the almighty now thank you satan is powerless towards you he's he's a not even a stain not even a little minute minuscule stain he's nothing he's nothing father god you are everything you are the almighty and i just thank you for again for today lord In jesus name i pray amen <coughs> excuse me all right grateful god family so this morning on the sports hotel rundown will be kind of different um obviously the ncaa regular football season is over um but we do still have one game today on the slate then i'll be going over uh the heisman ceremony Preview for tonight, um, NCAA football award winners, Thursday night football recap, NFL week 14 preview, National Hockey League, NCAA men's and women's top 25, <clears throat> NBA regular season, and the NCAA tournament championship tonight. So uh, kicking it off with our game for tonight. The games for tonight consist of, <clears throat> excuse me, consist of the Army-Navy game. That game can be seen at 3 p.m. today on CBS. Go Army, beat Navy. Whore. You know, I used to be in the Army. I served my country for five years. Um, so I'm definitely looking forward to the Army um, defeating the Navy today. Um, shout out to the Army again. So the Army-Navy game will be at, on CBS at 3 p.m. Make sure y'all tune in. Uh, moving on, moving on again. The Heisman Ceremony is tonight, ladies and gentlemen. Heisman Ceremony is tonight at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on ESPN. Make sure y'all check it out if, you, if you're if into that type of stuff. Uh, we have three quarterbacks on the slate for tonight. We have Jaden Daniels out of LSU. We have Bo Nix out of Oregon. We have Michael Penix Jr. out of Washington. And we have Marvin Harrison Jr. out of Ohio State. Uh, Marvin Harrison Jr., if he wins, he'll be the fourth ever wide receiver to um, win the Heisman Trophy. The most recent wide receiver to win the Heisman Trophy is 
my Philadelphia Eagles wide receiver Devontae Smith. Um, so that'll be a, that'll definitely be great category for um, Marvin Harrison Jr. to, um, you know, associate himself with to be able to join that to join that ranking of of Heisman wide receivers. Um, but me personally, if I think if I say who's gonna win the Heisman, it'll probably be Jaden Daniels out of LSU. Um, just a phenomenal dual threat quarterback has a has a strong arm, um, high sense of football IQ for a quarterback, and he's and he's mobile. He's able to use his legs. Um, make plays, and he's just, you know, do it, like I said, do a direct quarterback. Also, for Bo Nix and Michael Pence Jr., they know it's going to really be a tight race this year. I think all four of these finalists have had outstanding football season this year, and, um, you know, I'm, I'm excited to see who will, who will eventually take that Heisman Trophy for tonight. So to join there, to put their name uh, in, in, you know, etched in history forever as one of the greatest football players in college you know, in the college season. So, um, you know, good luck to all four of those gentlemen. Congratulations for even being considered to be a Heisman finalist. Um, such an honor. Again, um, all four of those gentlemen have had great football careers in their career time playing period. But now um, definitely stellar performances all year to be able to be recognized for the Heisman finalist for 2023. So congratulations in advance, gentlemen, and good luck. Moving on to the NCAA uh, football award winners for this year. Yeah, we haven't swept Dallas since 2011. So, 12 year drop. Looking to change that around. Hopefully, we can this weekend. Go Birds. The Maxwell Award is for the Player of the Year category. That goes to Michael Penix Jr. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> we have Walter, the Walter Camp Award. That's also the category for Player of the Year. That goes to Jaden Daniels out of LSU. We have the Home Depot Award which is for the coach of the year. That goes to Kalen DeBoyer out of Washington. We have the Jim Thorpe Award for the best defensive back. That goes to Trey Taylor out of the Air Force Academy. Then we have Davey O'Brien Award, which is the best quarterback. That award goes to Jaden Daniels out of LSU. We have the Remington Award, which is the best center. That goes to Jackson Powers. Jackson Powers Johnson out of Oregon. We have the Lou Groza Award was the best place kicker. That goes to Graham Nicholson out of the, out of the University of Miami, Ohio. Uh, then we have the Buckets Award, which is the best linebacker. That goes to Peyton Wilson out of NC State. Then we have the Billet Nuffcuff Award. That goes for outstanding receiver. That is awarded to Marvin Harrison Jr. out of Ohio State. We have history being made once again out of the University of Georgia with a back-to-back -back John Mackey Award winner, which is the best tight end in the country. That award goes to Brock Bowers out of Georgia. Again, he is the first ever tight end to win back-to-back -back John Mackey Awards. Um, so congratulations to Brock Bowers. Um, preferably, he gets to come back for a third season um, and to Georgia, you know, to, to get another ring before he leaves to go off to the NFL. And I'm pretty sure if he did, he'll win a third John Mackey Award in a row. So uh, shout-out to Brock Bowers. Then we have the Outland Trophy, which is the Best Interior Alignment Award. That goes to Tivandre Sweat out of Texas. We have the Ray Guy Award, which is the Best Punter. That goes to Tory Taylor out of Iowa. We have the Bed Nerick Award, which is the which is the Defensive Player of the Year. That goes to Peyton Wilson out of NC State. We have the Bronco Nagroski Trophy, which is the Defensive Player of the Year. That goes to Xavier Watts out of Notre Dame. We have the Burlesworth Trophy, which is top former walk-on. That goes to Cody Schrader out of Missouri. Then we have the Disney Spirit Award, which is the most inspirational player. That goes to Brian Dooley out of Eastern Michigan. Then we have the William V. Campbell Trophy. That goes to the Academic Heisman. That goes to Bo Nix out of Oregon. We have another Bulldog on the list. We have the Rafael Trophy which is for community service. That goes to Lad McConkey out of Georgia. Go dogs. And then we have the Broyles Award, which is the top assistant coach. And that goes to Phil Parker out of Iowa. So uh, congratulations, gentlemen, on all your success this year and, and the um, awards that you have been um, selected for to be able to be winners of. Um, that means you have, you know, outstanding performance on and off the field, your leadership, all that good stuff. So um, congratulations to all those gentlemen and um, good luck in your future endeavors. Um, if that's football or whatever it may be in your life that you have goals for, good luck to you. Um, many blessings to you. And um, thank y'all for y'all 
performances and and the way you all represent the universities that y'all attend from the coaches to the players so appreciate y'all moving on ladies and gentlemen moving on to nfl thursday night football recap again nfl thursday night football recap we had the patriots defeat the steelers 21 to 18 um moving on to the nfl slate this week we have the Buc- we have the Buccaneers going up against the Falcons. That'll be a pretty intense um, NFC South divisional game. The Falcons are currently undefeated in their division, um, so I know they'll be looking to continue that streak against the Buccaneers. Then we have the Colts going up against the Bengals, the Browns versus the Jaguars, the Jets versus the Texans, the Rams versus the Ravens. That'll be a pretty good game. Then we have the Bears going up against the Lions, the Saints versus the Panthers, the Raiders versus the Vikings, the 49ers versus the Seahawks. That's a bit that's a pretty big game also. Um the Chiefs versus the Bills, a big game also. Then we have the Broncos versus the Chargers. For Sunday night football, we have my Philadelphia Eagles heading down to Dallas, Texas to check out the Dallas Cowboys. We're looking to sweep them. Um I don't think we've swept them since like maybe 6 7 years ago. Um so we're looking to go down there and sweep them this year. Um, again, that would be Sunday night football, 8.20 p.m. on NBC. We have also, we have Dallas Goddard um, joining us back up in the lineup. He was injured against the Cowboys actually four or five weeks ago. Um, so now he'll be he'll be eligible to, to suit up Sunday night to come back and make his debut in Dallas. Um, so I'm feeling, I'm feeling good about that. We definitely missed him in our lineup. Um, you know, top three, top two tight end, you ask me, really, you know, he's, his blocking ability – the way he's able to block um, in the run game, pass game. Also, you know, the way he's able to be so effective in the pass game, you know, as a receiver, um, you know, guaranteed hands, big physical guy. So I'm looking for him to, you know, definitely have an impact this week as we head down to Dallas. Um, then also we have um, the debut of Shaq Leonard. Shaq Leonard, we signed him early this, this week. Um, so I'm looking to have him on the field. Also see him flying around. I'm also looking to have, we have Zach Cunningham coming back for the Eagles. Also, he was injured, one of our other linebackers. I'm also looking to have N'Kobe Dean back here in the next couple of weeks. He, sh- he should be coming off the um, off the injury list. So hopefully, you know, he's, he's able to stay 100% for the rest of the season and the rest of his career. I really wanted him, you know, really for him to have an opportunity to thrive because I know he's an outstanding linebacker out of the University of Georgia. Um, so I know he's going to, you know, he's going to have a great career, and hopefully his career, you know, is, is able to continue to be with the Eagles. Um, so I just wish him health as he as he continues to recover and, and get to 100%. So I'm looking forward to that. Um, and on that note, we're moving on. We're moving on to National Hockey League, the National Hockey League from this week. <clears throat> Excuse me. From Thursday games, we had the Sabres defeat the Bruins 3-1. to one. We had the Kings defeat the Canadians 4-0. to zero. We had the Maple Leafs defeat the Senators 4-3. We had the Sharks defeat the Red Wings in overtime 6-5. We had the Islanders defeat the Blue Jackets 7-3. We had the Stars defeat the Capitals 5-4. We had the Predators defeat the Lightning 5-1. We had the Blackhawks defeat the Ducks 1-0. We had the Jets defeat the Avalanche 4-2. We had the Flames defeat the Hurricanes 3-2. We had the Flyers defeat the Coyotes 4-1. And we had the Canucks defeat the Wild 2-0. And the Devils defeated the Krakens 2-1. Recap of last night's games for Friday, December 8th. We had the Panthers defeat the Penguins 3-1. We had the Blue Jackets defeat the Blues 5-2. And we had the Oilers defeat the Wild 4-3. For today's game, we had the Bruins hosting the Coyotes. Golden Knights versus the Stars. Flames versus the Devils. Sabres going up against the Canadians. Maple Leafs versus the Predators. Red Wings hosting the Senators. Rangers going up against the Capitals, Kings versus the Islanders, Blackhawks versus the Blues, Avalanche hosting the Flyers, Hurricanes going up against the Canucks, and the Krakens hosting the Lightnings. For Sunday games, December 10th, we have the Blue Jays, excuse me, the Blue Jackets versus the Panthers, the Devils versus the Oilers, Canadians hosting the Predators, the Rangers versus the Kings, Capitals going up against the Blackhawks, the Ducks versus the Jets. The Wild versus the Kraken, and we have the Golden Knight hosting the Sharks. Make sure y'all tune in to Thursday Sports Hotel to get updated information as we continue the week of National Hockey League NCAA Men's and Women's Top 25. Moving on to NCAA Men's and Women's Top 25 for this weekend. 
For today's games, we have number five. This is uh, NCAA men's. We have number five, UConn, hosting AR Pine Bluff. We have number 16, Kentucky, going up against Penn. You can catch that game today at noon on ESPN2. We have a top 25 ranked matchup. We have number 17, Tennessee, hosting number 20, Illinois, on CBS at 12 p.m. We have number four, Purdue, hosting Alabama on Fox at 1.30 p.m. We have number 10, Creighton, hosting Central Michigan on FS2 at 2 p.m. We have number 22, Duke, hosting Charlotte on the CW Network at 2.15 p.m. We have number 12, Texas, hosting Houston Christian. We have number one, Arizona, going up against number 23, Wisconsin, on ESPN at 3.15 p.m. That should be a pretty good game. We have number three, Houston, hosting Jackson State on the Big 12 Network at 4 p.m. We have number 19, Oklahoma, versus Arkansas on ESPN2 at 4 p.m. We have number 24, Clemson, going up against TCU on FS1 at 4 p.m. Number two, Kansas, hosting Missouri on ESPN at 5.15 at 5 p.m. Number 13, Colorado State versus St. Mary's on CBS Network at 6.30 p.m. Number 14, BYU going up against Utah on the Pac-12 Network at 7, at 7 p.m. Excuse me. We have number 18, James Madison going up against Old Dominion at 7 p.m. on ESPN+. Plus. Number 8, Marquette hosting Notre Dame tonight at 9 p.m. on Fox. Number 25, San Diego State versus UC Irvine. At 10.30 p.m. on FS1. And then we have number seven, Gonzaga, going up against Washington at 11 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on ESPN2. Moving on to Sunday games, we have number 15, Miami, hosting Colorado at 2 p.m. tomorrow on ESPN2. And then we have number 21, Texas A&M, hosting Memphis tomorrow on ESPN2 at 4 p.m. Moving on to the NCAA Women's Top 25. For Saturday games today, we have number 23, Gonzaga, going up against Rice at 3 p.m. on ESPN+. Plus. We have number 16, Indiana, going up against Rutgers at 4 p.m. on the Big Ten Network. And then we have number 13, Kansas State, going up against Missouri on the Big 12 Network or ESPN+. Plus at 6 p.m. For Sunday games, we have a few top 25 ranked matchups. Well, a lot, actually. So that'll be some pretty good games tomorrow. I'm looking forward to that. Um... Excuse me. For Saturday games today, NCAA Women's, we have, I mean, excuse me, for Sunday games, NCAA Women's for today, for tomorrow, excuse me, we have number two UCLA going up against number 20 Florida State at 12 p.m. to kick off Sunday top 25 ranked matchup tomorrow at noon on ESPN2. Then we have number 12, Ohio State, hosting number 25, Penn State, at 1 p.m. tomorrow. We have number 3, NC State, Lady Wolfpacks, hosting Liberty University tomorrow at 2 p.m. on the ACC Network. Then we have number 15, Virginia Tech, hosting Ratford at 2 p.m. tomorrow. Number 18, Louisville, hosting Kentucky at 2 p.m. tomorrow. We have number 1, South Carolina, hosting number 11, Utah, at 2.30 p.m. on ESPN. Number four, Iowa, hosting Wisconsin, 2.30 p.m. On, on the Big Ten Network. Number four, Iowa is going up against Wisconsin. Wisconsin will be hosting number four, Iowa, excuse me. Then we have number seven, LSU, hosting Louisiana at 3 p.m. on the SEC Network Plus. Number 19, Marquette, going up against Illinois State. Number 22, Creighton versus Wyoming. Number 21, Washington State versus Washington. Number 17, UConn, hosting number 24, North Carolina. At 5 p.m. tomorrow on ESPN. And then we have number 6 USC hosting UC Riverside at 6.30 p.m. on Sunday. Um, also, um, NCAA Men's News, we have uh, Bronny James making his debut for the uh, USC Trojans tomorrow on Sunday. On um, I don't know the game time yet, but he will be suiting up. Uh, so congratulations to him. Um, you know, he, he battled. He battled some heart things on sunday not sunday excuse me he battled some heart things uh this past summer um so that'll be good for him to get back in in rhythm and get back into emotion um they'll be playing long beach state tomorrow at 4 p.m on the pac-12 network so um again Bronny james is looking to make his ncaa basketball debut tomorrow for usc so um, good luck to him and on his basketball collegiate career and as he continues to 
um, you know, elevate his game. I know his dad is on him, um, and I know his dad is proud to be able to see him in that moment. And um, good luck to you again, young man, as you continue to go forth and, you know, be the front runner for your siblings and your family. And, um, you know, congratulations to y'all. <clears throat> Excuse me. Moving on to the NBA, NBA <clears throat> regular season from Thursday games. Again, we had the NC the tournament. We had the Indiana Pacers defeat the Bucks 128-119. And we had the Lakers dominate the Pelicans 133-89. So the Pacers and the Lakers will be playing today in the NBA, in the NBA in season championship game. Um, but I will get to that. But moving on to Friday games from the NBA, we had the 76ers defeat the Hawks 125-114. We had the Hornets defeat the Raptors, 119-116. We had the Magic defeat the Pistons, 123-91. We had the Nets defeat the Wizards, 124-97. We had the Celtics defeat the Knicks, 133-123. We had the Cavaliers defeat the Heats, 111-99. We had the Timberwolves defeat the Grizzlies, 127-103. We had the Thunder defeat the Warriors in overtime, 138-136. We had the Bulls defeat the Spurs, 121-112. We had the Rockets defeat the Nuggets, 114-106. We had the Kings defeat the Suns, 114-106. We had the Clippers defeat the Jazz, 117-103. And we had the Mavericks defeat the Trailblazers, 125-112. Again, moving on to Saturday. For today's games, we have the NBA NC the Tournament Championship. We have the Lakers hosting the Pacers tonight at 8.30 p.m. on ABC or ESPN2. So make sure y'all tune into the uh, next Thursday Sports Huddle to get updated information. Or if you follow, um, you know, if you keep up with sports yourself, you'll know the results before then. So make sure y'all tune in again Thursday to see who won the Heisman. Uh, make sure y'all tune in Thursday to see who won the NBA NCAA Championship. Also, make sure y'all tune in Thursday to make to see who won the Army-Navy game. Go Army, whore. And um, on that note, man, y'all have a blessed today. I love y'all. Appreciate y'all tuning in, listening as always. I appreciate the support. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, all major podcast platforms. Just Google me, Break for Gap Podcast, and any podcast platform my podcast is available on, it will it will pop up. And again, I appreciate everybody. Make sure y'all subscribe to me, uh, follow me, whatever you do. Share my podcast. I appreciate y'all. I love y'all. Y'all be blessed. Make sure y'all tune in tomorrow for Great for Gab Family Day with Mama Kane and myself. And I love y'all. Y'all have a great today. As always, give God glory for today. Let's make the best of it. Let's 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 show love, care for one another. Love, love, love. I love y'all. Y'all be blessed. Until next time. Peace. <laughs>